Acedulandia. The sound of trumpets fills the halls of the Castle of the White Moon. The sound is coming from the courtyard, where the pawns are playing the instruments loud enough to wake up Princess Carmen. Because a great day has arrived. Her birthday! Today is March 18th, and Carmen has not been able to sleep all night, because today is her birthday. And it is also the last day to play her game of chess and to brighten her country, Ajedulandia, which is known for its two tall and mighty castles. One of them is white, and the other one is black. The princess has a great idea, but she needs the help of her friends. Ajedulandia was a very sad country. Everything was always covered with darkness, and when it was viewed from the top of the castles, all the houses were square-shaped and seemed to be the same size. Some houses were black, and some were white. Everything looked like a giant chessboard, and its inhabitants were weird, because each one of them moved in a different way. Princess Carmen's friend, Ana, also lives in Ajedulandia, in the black castle of San Diego. They are both pawns, and they want to play peace chess together but their castles are far apart. The friends have two dreams. Firstly, they want to become queens. And secondly, they want to provide color to their beautiful country, where only two colors currently exist, black and white. <laughs> but an evil witch named Regalita wouldn't let them play. And for this reason, Ajedulandia was always full of darkness. That day, Carmen woke up determined to get to the Black Castle in San Diego, to play with Ana, and to make her dreams come true. Her journey begins inside the secret maze, and must finish before the end of the day. During her trip, Carmen has to find the pieces that can help her win the game of peace chess. The first stop is the bowling alley where the brave pawns always play. The pawns like moving forward, and they are never afraid. When Godman makes a move, everyone knows that they have to follow her. The path of the maze continues through a bridge that is supported by two rooks, that are known as fortresses, and are placed at its corners. As she crosses the bridge, Godman asks them to come along with her. In the distance, they see a snow-covered hill, where there are two bishops riding a sled. Their names are Alfredo and Alberto, two very naughty twin brothers. Carmen and the others inform the brothers that today is the big day. They all continue on their way to search for the queen, the most powerful piece. Alberto says that the queen is in the ballroom with the king at her dance class, so everyone is heading there. Come on, we're late, they said. At the end of the maze, they arrive at the Teresa Lagoon, which is a large park where they meet the magic knights. These knights are called jumpers, and they jump, jump, and spin. To get there before the castle gates close, they hop on the park train. Come on, says the king. Anna is waiting for us to play the great game of peace chess. Upon entering San Diego Castle, the black pieces are already in place, and the white pieces quickly move to their positions. The rooks position themselves at the corners, next to the knights. The bishops are next to the knights. The queen is positioned next to them at the white square, which is the same color as her dress, and the king is by her side. The brave pawns are positioned on the front line. Carmen and Ana are each positioned in front of their king. Carmen begins the game with two big steps. And Ana makes the same move. 
And when both Anna and Carmen shake hands, suddenly all of Ajedulandia begins to take color. The sun is brighter and a large rainbow crosses the entire country, lighting the houses and ending darkness forever.